The next step is to connect the potentiostat to the Z100. Here we see the EDAC potentiostat connected to the Z100. You should follow the instructions in the manual, remembering to turn off the software and hardware before you make any connections. When you start the Z100 Navigator software, it may take a while longer to start up because it's checking the potentiostat connected to the Z100. Once it starts up, you can see here it's identified that the EDAC EA161 potentiostat is connected. You should now connect the potentiostat to the Z100 test network. The green working clip goes on one side of the 5 kilo ohm resistor. The red auxiliary and yellow reference go on the other side. We're now ready to run a blank test. This is to make minor corrections to the phase shift that occurs at high frequencies. To do this, you should ensure that the loopback is unclicked. Go to Experiment and choose Potentiostatic EIS. This is where we enter our values. You should check that the cell is real cell, high stability is false, and the phase correction should be false. Here we choose our initial, mid and final frequency. Because I'm using a EA161 potentiostat, I'm going to set the final frequency to 10 kilohertz. The range is 100 microamps. We're now ready to start, so we click on run. We can observe what's happening by looking at the tabs again. Under the monitoring tab we can see the applied voltage, this is the red signal, and the black signal is the recorded current. This adds you shows voltage versus current. The Bode plot shows the magnitude and phase with frequency. A phase shift indicates a time delay between the applied voltage and the recorded current. This tends to be constant with a simple resistor, but can be more pronounced at higher frequencies. Once it's finished, under results, you can see it's run the frequencies from 1 Hz to 10,000 kHz. We now go to File, Save as Binary Format. And we can save this here. Under Tools, we now select Calibrate External PNG. We now double click on 0 0.1 in the bottom half of the screen. And we open the save file by choosing Select File. And this is the file we just ran. In function, we choose y equals a times x to show the linear regression. This plot shows good linearity, which means there's a good linear relationship between phase and frequency. Note that this is a log-to-log -log plot. We now click OK and click on the right EEPROM to save the phase correction to the hardware. You can use this phase correction for any experiment using the same physical cable and instrument configuration. We now click OK, close the window, and in Experiment Potentiostatic EIS, we can now change this phase correction to true.